Alright, this is Jeff with Click Near Games, uh, along with Jen. We're going to show you the print and play demo. Just a quick walkthrough on how everything works and give you an idea on how it plays. Now, we're going to be using our prototype for this as opposed to the actual print and play cards. It's just simply easier to use what we already have instead of reprinting everything. But I do recommend you print everything on 110 pound cardstock. Give it uh, you know, a little bit of added weight to it so it doesn't uh, flop around so much. Uh, we have the map tiles here set up according to the diagram on the first page of the print and play. Uh, each of the Marines have their appropriate equipment. You can see by their standard loadout what they're supposed to have and their training, any cards that they're supposed to have. So we have the sport engineer with his rifle remote and a med pack and a pistol. We have the uh, assault marine here with the shotgun, uh, smoke grenade and frag grenade and the support uh, empath with uh, her two psychic abilities, Chi Wave, Calming Aura, and her pistol. Uh, the, Marine, the mission we're on right now is Search and Destroy. It's a very simple mission. We have to destroy half the spawn points to advance to the next stage. Now in the print and play, you only have the one, so after uh, its completion, you'd simply move on to the next one. Uh, in a normal game, though, you'd have uh, the opportunity to move on to a second stage and then a third stage, getting better and better rewards every time you complete one. Uh, so, I have my three aliens here, uh, the Infected, the Briar, and the Dragon Rose. So, to start the game, uh, normally, as the commander, I'd place out the map tiles, uh, according to the rules for placing tiles, and then the Marines would have put in their drop point, and I would have started placing spawn points. The large one would get its brown spawn point out here, and then I'd put in the two small ones, here, and here. Now I could put either one of these over here on this last spawn point, but we're going to put them there uh, just for sake of simplicity and a little bit of tactical advantage. Uh, now the Marines get to go. They get to uh, drop in their three Marines anywhere they want on the Osprey tile here. Okay, so we've got the Assault Marine up front, Sign in the center, and the Sport Engineer kind of in the back. Uh, he's kind of the, he's got the med pack, so he's kind of the healer, so a little protected. Now I'm going to put all of my aliens here into a bag. We'll need a, a box lid or something to use for this. Uh, the base game actually comes with a, a bag, not this exact bag, but uh, it's going to be one similar to it to, to use for that. Now my uh, virulent hive spawn point that I purchased gives me four spawns a turn, so I'm going to reach in here and grab four of these and put them out. Now I get to see what they are, but she doesn't know what they are. So we're going to put uh, one, two, three, and four. So I've spawned out, and then we're going to check to see what she can see. Since there's nothing blocking line of sight from any of the Marines to these, she's going to be able to see that all of these are infected. All right, and then the first turn would begin. Uh, the Marines always get to go first on the start of every turn, so she's going to pick one of the Marines to use and go through its turn. So I'm going to throw a grenade. Okay, so we're going to go with the Assault Marine, mm -hmm. and she's going to throw a grenade. Uh, throw range is going to be three spaces, and uh, it can ignore a line of sight. So where are we going to target the grenade? Here. Okay, so two spaces out, she can throw the grenade there. I can't she... throw it at the spawn point, right? No. Right. So she's going to look at the Marine's throw, which is one red and two blue. And then the frag grenade itself gives you an extra blue because it's slightly directed. She's going to roll that. She got four. Uh, infected don't have defenses. They're you know mindless people who have been infected. And so it's going to hit and it'll explode. Does damage to him along with both of these. Now zombies are limitless, the infected, so they will go back in the spawning bag. Uh, this is, you know, kind of helps with the fact that the alien commander will never run out of enemy so long as he has infected and it also helps the marines by putting infected back in the bag reduces the chance that the commander will draw something more threatening so that cost the marine one action he's got two left she's going to spend one action she can move up to three spaces but here she's only going to move the one to move up next to the spawn point and then the third action to destroy it uh, now the spawn point has its marker on the back so by her destroying that I lost one spawn per turn, so that puts me down to three spawns a turn. Uh, now it's my turn. That was all three of the Assault Marines' actions. 
So I'm going to go ahead and attack with the Ferret. Uh, he's a melee attacker. So he's got a two blue attack. I got a three. She got a two. So the Assault Marine is going to take a point of damage. Now this is a melee attack, so anytime somebody melee attacks, uh, you're going to move into their space and push them out. I'm going to send him back to the Osprey tile there. And that was one of the Ferret Infected's actions. He's got two. So we're going to go with him again, and he's going to attack the Assault Marine again. And that was one. She's going to pick up the three defense dice, roll them. She got a two, so uh, the Ferret Infected doesn't do any damage this time. I don't have anybody else to go, so it is completely her turn at this point in time. I'll attack him. She's long range, right? Uh, that's a short range. It's two spaces. That's good. So, using Chi Wave, psionic attack, one red and two blue, and then two blue from the psionic attack against the infected. Infected has no defense, so she rolled at least one. The infected's dead. She's got two actions left. One more action to move, and the third action to destroy the spawn point. Now this fulfills the search and destroy mission requirements of destroying two spawn points. So at this point in time the marines would have an option to keep going or bug out. Since this is a demo game, this is, the, this is where the mission ends. Now we are going to be able to show you later some more advanced videos that show the game in action with a little bit more going on with our uh, weekly campaign that we run. Uh, that gives you an idea on the more advanced marines, how they work, and the bigger map setups that get involved when you get into the longer missions. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the Kickstarter or on our Facebook page. Have a good day.